What's up mi gente, this is Georgie Miller and welcome once again to the Fashion Video in the Mix and today we're gonna cover a lot, a lot of fun stuff so we're gonna be actually, we're gonna be cooking I'm going to be sharing a recipe from Puerto Rico, it's called Mofongo so if you wanna join me in the kitchen, we're gonna have a lot of fun doing that we're gonna talk about sheens, a few items that I bought on sale that I love, it's so cool also I'm gonna be talking about some, of course, some Amazon fashion some things for the home it's gonna be a little bit of everything. So if you like fashion, so if you like things for the house, if you want to know about this awesome recipe from Puerto Rico, you got to keep watching. I had the busiest, the craziest week ever. Oh my God. So last week I record everything for this week and I was so excited and everything was ready to go and my SD card on my camera, it got corrupted. If you're a tech savvy, it would be like, Jordi, what the heck you were thinking? So here's the device and here it is my SD card. So I put it on my computer, I was ready to download all my data and I pull it from my computer. The moment that I pull this, corrupted the entire disc. This I got at Costco a few weeks ago and it cost me over a hundred bucks because it's a 400 gigabyte one very expensive i damaged the card i don't think it is not completely gone however all my data for hours and hours almost seven hours of work gone i almost cried it's been very very frustrating so i have to refilm everything again so word of advice never pull from your computer an sd card especially if you are doing something with it if you're transferring data just to put that out there it was very frustrating Alright, moving on to happier topics. I got this jewelry from Amazon. Thank you so much for your um, sponsorship and the brands that they have collaborated here uh, for me to review their products. If you notice on my past videos, I wear a lot of jewelry because I love jewelry. Who doesn't like jewelry? Well, I do. I love jewelry and I love to accessorize. So it's like, you know what? Why not? I am ready to try some more, more stuff. So here I have this ring. The brand is called King Ring. And here's a ring and this ring supposedly will calm you down when you're nervous so this week has been so crazy and so hectic that i was like you know what i'm gonna keep spinning this to keep me calm <laughs> you know what is the silliest thing in the world it doesn't really calm me down actually it creates more anxiety for me when i keep doing this so it is not my thing to do but i like the look of it i think it's really nice it is a two-tone it is a silver and gold the look Material wise, I'm going to actually share on the screen what are the materials on this ring. What I gotta tell you, look wise, it looks cute. I like the two tone and I think it's just good as a fashion uh, ring. So then I got this necklace and it's so nice. Now this is a little bit more dainty. This is a little bit more elegant, I would say as a necklace. This is a better quality. So actually you can find in Amazon very good jewelry. This is great as a layering piece. So if you like the short, medium, and long to create that dimensional look, I think this would be perfect for it. It feels very substantial. It, it like feels like you could hold some weight if you put a charm in it. It feels expensive, it doesn't feel cheap. This brand is called KXJ. It comes in this lovely box. But now that the holidays are approaching, this will make actually a nice little gift. It comes with a little cleaning cloth. So this is made in Italy. So this necklace here, it is an Italian necklace. No wonder it feels like finished. It feels good. This one, it is will never go out of style because it is just very simple, very elegant, very classy. So if you wanna get a good gift for the holidays, check that one out. All right, moving on. Look at this bracelet. Beads. Beads are back in trend, I gotta tell you. I've seen a lot of this type of look on the models, on fashion magazines, everywhere. And this was all the way back in the 2000s when I think the trend kind of started. Well, I don't think the trend started in the 2000s. I think it's more like the 70s hippie came back on the 2000s and now it's back again. It is simple, it is elegant, but it has a great look. And again, I'm going to be sharing all the specs on the screen and on the description as well with links where you can actually, if you decide to, if you want the product, you can just click on the link and it will take you right away to the Amazon store so you can actually 
Not yet there. Easy breezy. I'm gonna make things easy. I got an email from Sheen, those damn emails, and they were offering like a 60%, 75% off on their stuff. And I don't know why I clicked, but I did, and I made a little damage. All right, so starting with this tank top, this is again from Sheen. I like this little saying here, it says new adventures. So it's like a motivational tank top. Again, that's the price, I got this on sale, and I think it is so cute. I love the color, it's like a light lavender. Very casual, wear with jeans, jacket if you want to dress it up a little bit more. Go to the mall, work out for the gym, I think it's perfect. What you pay for it is not bad at all. And this one, what I like about it, it's like a little bit more sexy. It has like that great V-neck, very pronounced V-neck there. I think it looks great, especially if you work out, have some muscle. You guys, you would love this. I think this could be unisex too. So if you wanna, girls wanna show a little bit of cleavage, why not? It is just basic black tank top. That's how much I paid for. And this is something I'm gonna be used with a lot of stuff. Now this one here it is just a little bit more risque, but look how deep the cut goes on the front. Isn't that wild? It's very Jennifer Lopez-ish. <laughs> Something that she will wear, I would say. But I think it's so sexy, so cute, and the quality feels actually not bad at all for being sheen. I've been actually lucky with, with the brand. Very breathable, super comfy. I like it. This one I love because it has that uneven end at, at the end. See, kind of like not totally square, and I like that because it's very different. Some beige type of pants, especially they're like ripped jeans, and they're kind of like a khaki ish color, beigey. That looks kind of kind of hot, I would say. With some boots, I think it's adorable. Now, this one here, I had a hard time to be honest with you. I didn't realize it's gonna be a crop top. This one is gonna be my motivational shirt to wear whenever I'm back in shape. However, in the meantime, I think I can wear this with a jacket, bottom halfway, and then just show this part in here. If you have the body for it, you guys, it can be sexy too. All my gays out there, you will love this. Very EDC, very club, very fun. I like this cut, I think it's really cool. Now this one here, I thought it was like a sleeping short pyjama set type of deal. Well, these are the PJs you can wear outside and go shopping with it or just go anywhere. And people would not look at you kind of weird. I hope not. <laughs> but very comfy. I like the elastic. I like the color. And I think it works because it kind of matches. I mean, it kind of matches. It matches completely. It is coming back in style. For many years, it was advised to not go matchy matchy on your outfits. Now, actually I went to Rodeo Drive not long ago and everything on the stores was all coordinated, all monochromatic. So, listen, you don't have to spend a lot of money to look great. So here in Sheen, you can get something like this. Look good with some loafers or sandals and it looks very cool, very good. Now, again, it is C Vibes coming in here. It's just such a fun, fun tank top. It is. A sheer, sheer, um, pretty much like a whole sheer tank top all together, but they added a neon fringe right on the, on the front. It's just so playful, so cool. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna make it easy this year, but there's always next year. There's always a lot of musical, musical festivals out there, Coachella, you name it. Actually, Sheen, it's a good place to look for festivals for Coachella, I gotta tell ya. This one, actually, I did wear this um, when I was in California, and I love it. I went to the club with this. Got a few compliments. I love it. It kind of like iridescent, very disco-ish. So fun. This with black leather pants looks super hot. Love that. This one here, it is a very sexy sweater. With that pronounced again v-neck. Mm. You can definitely turn some heads with that one. Super cute and I like that shimmery a fabric, super cute, and it's lightweight. It's not heavy at all. And I got this funky shorts. I think they're super cute, Barbie, Hollywood Barbie. <laughs> I definitely, I would, I can say this could be a unisex type of short. This is just a very, you have to have the right occasion to wear this. I like it, but I would see when and where I'm gonna wear that. I tried this the other day, and the, this, Jeggings, I'll call it Meggings. Super, super cute. And look at the detail. 
you can see super cute for working out in style I will say so all of this I paid the grand total of this much this is fast fashion the quality is not gonna be the best it's not gonna last you for 10 years or or so but you just want it for maybe a few seasons and then you're ready to to move on moving on it feels plush it feels so comfortable like you just want to hug it you want to sleep on it it feels like that super super comfy and again it's a great weight it is not like that wool feel that's gonna make you itch not at all that's an amazing item to actually wear for holiday parties for the office if you, if you don't know what to wear and you want it to look cool and high fashion i think just by wearing these and slacks you're gonna look like a million dollars or even if you want to just down with some again jeans and boots you're gonna look really cool like that new kid on the block love that Again, this is the, these are staple items that, again, if you don't know what you're doing in the fashion division, owning those pieces, it makes you look important. It makes you look like you know what you're talking about when you get dressed up. Here's another one. So this is more like a very basic, very classic type of sweater. I like that needed type of look. So items like this, they will never go out of style. That's what I like about it. It's not something that is way too trendy and then next year is gonna be totally out and you're not gonna wear it again so again for what you pay for you're getting a good quality and it's a timeless classic look that you're gonna wear for the rest of your life if you take good care of it this is another tracksuit from amazon talk about it last week but it is amazing i love it i like the color i like the zipper on the side it's almost like a leather type of finish the trim of it this is so cool, again, if you want something easy that you want to go to the market, if you want to go golfing, if you want to go to work out on this, it makes you look like you're a millionaire. This looks very high-end, looks very, very expensive. Again, cardigans. Guys, you can never have enough cardigans. At least own one. If you don't have any, you have to invest in one good cardigan. This one here, it is not an investment piece in my opinion very affordable however this with jeans with dress slacks for the office you can wear it with a tie without a tie with a t-shirt however you want to wear it you can wear this and it's gonna make you look put together and dressed up automatically just by having a cardigan total neck i was looking for a turtleneck for the longest time and for whatever reason i never find a good turtleneck that i like because it was either too light on the texture it was just too tight i don't know i never found a good turtleneck that fits right and finally I got this one that is between a sweater and a cardigan like the, the the texture of it it is a little bit thicker but again not heavy and that's exactly what I wanted with actually with a blazer look very elegant I think it would look very sophisticated there's a transition between casual and classy a little dressy but not overly dressy always always a good staple to have and then here this is just a fun one I love this one it reminds me of Christmas for whatever reason. It is not a Christmas sweater, but I don't know. Maybe it's the motives, it's the, the color. I love this with jeans. I love this with khakis. I like this with pretty much anything. I'm going to wear this more with khakis or jeans and boots. This is the way I'm going to wear it. I love this. Quality-wise, amazing, amazing. And all of this from Amazon. I was very skeptical to buy shoes online, especially in Amazon. I don't know why I thought they're gonna be very cheap, not good, blah, blah, blah. I was wrong. They're loafers, which, okay, they're cute and all of that, but then I saw the stripe and it remind me of a high-end designer brand. That's right, I don't wanna mention any brand names in here. I don't wanna get in trouble, but you know what it kinda looks like, right? It starts with a G, <laughs> it starts with a G. It reminds me of that fashion brand. Super comfy, I mean, I just got them, so I haven't worn them out yet, but I just try them on and they feel inside it has like that cushion in it so it feels very very good it feels, already feels comfortable I don't think I, I don't even have to break them in that's the price so not bad at all you're getting a high-end fashion look for little money and then if you want to look a little bit more cool more laid back super casual I always love like a little bit of a high top this almost like a high top but not quite so I chose the red and the brown, which I thought that those colors would not go together. Brown and red is like, ew. Now, 
Looking at this, I do like it. Just a blue t-shirt, ripped jeans, a denim jacket, really cool, very easy. You don't have to go matchy-matchy. Love that. And I think this is very useful. I like this detail in here. It's like a little, I think it's just more to adjust it, but I just like the look of it. Love that. And it feels very, very lightweight, very comfy. Again, this is the price. I think this is something that you don't see everywhere either. elegant when you look at them they look like they're real glass but they're not they're totally plastic let me show you I have not even used them yet they're still on the package but look how cute this is it is I love the color I like the shape the way they did it and this is something again it's nothing special you can get the same look the same shape at a store and pay a lot of money this is the price for a set of six and again, you don't have to worry about dropping it, breaking it, and it is so cool. Look-wise, amazing. Again, it would not break. It is totally plastic. If you wanna host a party outside, having the proper presentation, I think it makes a big difference. When I got it, I gotta show you, my jaw dropped. It's like, oh my God, this actually is pretty big. When I opened the box, it's like, wow, this is a good size. You can put a lot of wine in here, and I just love it. I'm very honest with my feedback. I think it's gonna be a great quality, great look. But one thing that we notice, it, does, it doesn't say at the bottom if it's dishwasher safe or how to take care of this item. I think it is dishwasher safe. And also one thing that is very important is about the BPA. So this one, the company did not disclose if it's a BPA free type of product. Some people might not mind that because you're gonna use it maybe only in special occasions and it might be okay. So, but if you are BPA type of conscious and you're very careful with that, then that's something that you need to know. In my opinion, I'm gonna use it only for special occasions and I think I'm be totally okay with using it like that. Anyhow, I think it's okay. I am a sucker for positive thinking. This item, it is called self-love affirmations and they're cards and you, they're meant to be used daily and all you gotta do is shuffle them, pick one card and get the message for the day to set your intention for the day. And I've been doing this for the past few days and I don't know what it is but it kinda changed my, my perspective for the day. It kinda, I don't know, it just makes me feel so much better. It is kinda the weirdest thing. So if you're a motivational uh, soccer like me, I think you're gonna love this product. And let's see what the card is gonna say for the day. Let's see. I haven't actually forgot to do it today, so it's never too late to do it. Let's see. Just one card and let's see what it says. Be present. I am fully present in every moment and engage in the here and now which sometimes we all forget to be present. That's such a great, lovely reminder. Every moment is filled with happiness, bringing me closer to living within my true purpose. My work brings me deep fulfillment and joy, and I am excited to discover what the next moment would bring. So, isn't that cute? Isn't that lovely? So, be present. I think that was a good reminder for me to stop being in the head so much and just be here, be now. All right, so I feel that any item is not completed with the right fragrance. This fragrance I've been using for a number of years. It is Blue de Chanel. It is, again, nothing new. So probably you have heard or probably you have already used this fragrance. So if you have not, do not miss out on trying this one. You cannot go wrong with Blue de Chanel. At least I would have to say it has like a 95% likability. So 95% of the people they love this fragrance. I like it because it lasts. Now there's different versions and I wanna show you. There are three different versions. Yes, I'm crazy and I own the three different versions. So here we have the Eau de Toilette. Eau de Toilette, it's gonna be a little bit more, I would say diluted. 
you spray it it's gonna last for just maybe a few hours it's gonna be almost like a splash like a little mist if you're not a fragrance person and if you just want something very light and fresh the other toilet will be okay for you now if you want something that's gonna last just a little bit longer that has a little bit more oil on the fragrance you want to actually consider all the parfum this one with two sprays you don't have to worry it will last for almost all day it will stick with you it will smell amazing and it's gonna have a little bit more possess so again it's gonna smell the same but just a little bit stronger and it's gonna last on the skin just a little more because it has more oil now if you're a fragrance junkie and if you really really like fragrance and really want to smell good for like the next 24 hours consider parfum pure parfum it has a lot of oil not diluted it's gonna be the most expensive however it's gonna last you the longest and I gotta tell you again if you love fragrance and fragrance junkie check the parfum because with this one spray it is enough pretty much for the entire day so there you have it blue de chanel if you're looking for a primer that is oil free that is not gonna break you out i suffer from breakouts and pretty much every primer out there in the market it breaks me out so i can count with my fingers how many primers i can use this one here it is actually like an airbrush it is by hourglass this one is called vanish it is fairly new in the market however it is amazing i've been loving it it is high on the price point so i've been using like two pumps which is more than enough for my face again the primers are going to make sure that your foundation and concealer is going to stick to your skin for longer but also it's going to make your skin look much better so i do recommend this primer also if you don't want to use a lot of foundation it's going to help to spread it even better so again if you suffer from acne you're very oily and you're frustrated that you don't find the right primer check this one out because it's going to give you a beautiful effect without breaking you up i am making mofongo this is very improvised because i didn't have some of the materials some of the ingredients it's a very puerto rican dish called mofongo so i didn't have the chicharron so i'm using actually bacon and garlic on a pot so I'm gonna substitute the chicharron for the bacon. Actually, bacon bits, because I don't even have bacon, so I use bacon bits with the garlic. And let me show you what I'm doing here. I am frying the, plant, the green plantain. Pretty much just soak it in water with salt for 15 minutes. You just slice them like that. I'm using a little bit of olive oil. So I think olive oil is a little bit healthier. Again, I am not a professional cook. This is just very improvised. So for those out there that are not chef, then maybe you can just follow <laughs> this recipe here. Anyhow, so I am frying them for about 20 minutes. They should not be too brown and then I'm gonna smash it. And here it is, the bacon. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Of course, you need one pilon. This is some pilon, which is translation for a motor. I think that's the name of it. So I'm gonna smash, after this is fried, I'm gonna smash them here, and then I'm gonna add the bacon, some garlic, and that should do it. And then I'm gonna shape them into little balls. I'm gonna have some sal salad here. With poppy seed dressing. And my husband actually, it is outside doing some grilling. He's gonna do some steak that's gonna go along with this. Wow. And I'm ready to smash. Gonna press hard, so it's like a workout. So go with it. Mm -hmm. A bit of olive oil, so you can smash it better. Let me bring you closer so you can see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I almost forgot the garlic. You gotta put a lot of garlic to this. The trick, garlic. There we go. It's nothing without the of steak. Of course, you need the steaks. You need steaks. So now you have the garlic. You gotta work it in. Now the trick is, after you do this, you have to serve it almost right away because it will get hard. So now we are going to shape the mofongo. Careful because it's warm. So 
like hot potato. You see, I'm making a bowl. And I'm not professional, so this is just very, you know, improvising. Supposed to look like a little cute cup like that. So my mom is asking me if I'm talking to myself. Almost, yes, but to the camera. Blando la camera. I have not lost my mind. It's not exactly the presentation that I wanted, but here's a little bit of homemade mafongo. Steak on top. I'm gonna have some salad on the side. Listen, I tried, so and it tastes good. It's good. Even if you don't shape it, as long as it tastes good, it's good. Good texture and flavor. You have to again eat it as quick as possible because you know it gets hard pretty quick. Anyway, bon appetit! All right, my love. So this will bring to the conclusion of my video. So if you have not subscribed, please do so right now. Do not forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. If you want to see a lot more amazing fashion tips, beauty tips, and all that great stuff. You have to subscribe so you don't miss out on it. I love you. Have an amazing day. Keep loving. Don't spread hate. Have an amazing week. All right. Take care. Bye.